Another report card day for U.S. banks. The Federal Reserve out with its second and final stress test results for 2018 on the health of America's banking industry. Fox Business's Jennifer Schoenberger is live in D.C. with the results. Jennifer. Melissa, the Federal Reserve failing Deutsche Bank's U.S. arm and passing Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, and State Street, but only with conditions. Results from the second round of the Federal Reserve's annual stress test show. Deutsche Bank's U.S. arm failed the Fed's stress test because of what the Fed says are widespread deficiencies in managing risk. The Fed passed Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs, but are not allowing the banks to raise dividends and share buybacks. Instead, both are required to maintain their payouts at current levels to build capital. The banks fell below minimum requirements on a new measure that evaluates whether they have enough capital to cover losses on potential investments financed with debt. But both fell short because of one-time tax charges, not because of a reflection of their performance under stress. So the Fed chose to pass them, even though both technically failed. State Street received approval for payout plans, but only contingent on the firm reassessing how it manages counterparty risk under stress. American Express and M&T Bank were forced to scale back their initial payout plans because they would have fallen short of the Fed's requirements. The second round of stress tests examined whether banks would be able to continue lending to households and businesses during a hypothetical severe recession after paying out dividends and buying back stock. Banks had to be able to withstand a severe recession scenario this year, tougher than past years, and envision unemployment spiking to 10 percent and home prices plunging 30 percent. Melissa, on average, banks requested payouts of 95 percent of their expected earnings over the next year, just about in line with last year.